And so Kara and I will be talking about um, how to access DTS from CTEMPS, the Center for Transformative Environmental Monitoring Programs that resides at both Oregon State University and UNR. So Kara, whenever you're ready. Okay, so I think we've already gone over who we are, um, but uh, how, how do you get to us after this workshop? So our main interface is through our website, which is um, ctemps.org. And um, mostly what we're gonna talk about today is instrument access. So um, the first thing to know is uh, about some of our overall instrument policies. We're first come first serve. After six months, uh, we do uh, need to make the data publicly available per our uh, NSF award. Uh, criteria and um, the instrument request form is the easiest way to start the process with us and then finally we do ask that anybody um, that uses uh, our instruments does acknowledge us in the resulting publications and these are there's more detail on our website about the fully fleshed out parts of these policies uh, so where does the the data end up after six months so uh, we use HydroShare for uh, displaying the projects that have used CTEMPS and then we have a list of publications both of those that have used CTEMPS and also just ones that we've encountered that are useful in the DTS realm hosted on our website that we keep up to date. Um, now we're going to move on to the CTEMPS specific instrument request form of how what what can we do for you and and how do you tell us that and I'm going to switch over to Chris. All right, thanks, um, so some of the basic stuff we'll ask you is, you know, of course, your name and uh, maybe a title for your project that helps us keep track of, of all the different projects we, we work with. And then your experiment details, you know, um, what type of environment you saw today. There are a lot of, a lot of different type of environments, cold environments, hot environments, um, brushy, non-brushy, all that sort of thing kind of helps us figure out what, um, advice uh, would be good for your particular project. Um, and then you'll let us know what other things you think you might need. Maybe some people just need only a DTS um, or maybe they just only need cable, uh, but maybe they need the whole shebang in which we can advise you on um, uh, power supply, uh, such as solar panels, or you can use two, say like 120 amp hour batteries. And we have a little toggle where you can swap those in and out. Um, and we can talk about remote connectivity. If you can access a cell signal, then we can provide you with a directional antenna and there is a modem in the DTS. And so we would be able to talk to your DTS remotely and maybe help, help you troubleshoot and work through any, um, any of the hangups that always happen when people go in the field. Um, and then just any other field support in general, um, one of us can, um, either Kara or myself, can actually go to your project if you would like that extra level of support. Um, and uh, if not, we will, uh, we will provide guidance, you know, from, from our offices and we are, uh, we are available almost 24-7. I don't want to uh, go too far and committing to that, but we're, we're quite available to make sure you're not hung up when you're out there with your crew in the field. Um, and we'll talk about, we can talk about deployment strategies and a lot of that has to do with um, the environment that you're in and what your power supply is and if you need to manage your, um, your data acquisition cycle with power uh, consumption in mind. All right, and of course, uh, training on the instruments and software. So th that's some of the stuff that we will glean um, for your instrument request. And then one of us will get back to you uh, and, and go from there. Okay, next slide. Okay, so here's an example. I think you saw this earlier in uh, Troy Gilmore's talk of the full on field setup there with the solar panels. These are things that we can provide to you. The coolers, there's the calibration baths. We can supply those. Of course, we'd have to, you know, we, we, we do strap them to pallets and ship them, but sometimes that's something that people can buy locally. Um, here are the 120 amp hour batteries 
um, in there. That's, of course, up in you want to buy locally. There's the DTS itself, small solar panel here to um, put a fish tank bubbler uh, in either of these baths for well mixed baths. And also, it will power a fish tank heater um, to keep your warm bath going. And here's one of the uh, containers that the DTS and some of this equipment goes into and gets strapped onto a pallet and shipped to you. And sometimes it's shipped along with the cable. So that gives you an idea of the volume of equipment um, that you might expect. And here's another nice uh, setup in the field with solar panels. So let's take a look at the next slide. Uh, let's see pricing. Um, generally, uh, our lower spatial resolution and temporal resolution uh, instruments um, are $50 a day. And then we have higher resolution instruments that have uh, 25 centimeters uh, sampling interval and uh, an even higher 12 centimeter sampling inter interval. That's like our uh, highest resolution DTS and that's a laboratory instrument. So it kind of has to be, that does not go into the field unless it's in some heated trail or, or, or something like that. Um, and then, it, and on this highest resolution instrument, that can take a reading uh, every two seconds. Um, the other instruments are about every 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, the solar panels, $200 a month. And that's a little background on costs. Uh, let's, we can go to the next slide. Uh, going back to volume of equipment, this is about two kilometers um, of our least expensive cable there, uh, just to give you an idea of you know, size, what you'll be dealing with. We can ship you um, a cable stand, or you can ba uh, build your own. Again, this is Troy Gilmore's set up here, and uh, this is from Kristen Davis. They built their own for an ocean deployment. And then uh, here's some armored cable, uh, the more expensive stuff, and that's maybe about 500 meters on each of these spools, just to give you an idea. Again, a volume. Okay, next slide. All right, so costs on that stuff, least expensive, uh, roughly $600 a day for uh, two kilometers, I'm sorry, $600 for two kilometers to lease and you know, 12 or $1,300 plus shipping. Um, eat both of these and uh, do not include shipping. Um, uh, so uh, to buy two kilometers is uh, roughly $1,300. And then the prices go up from there when you get into the uh, armored cable. Some, we do have some brand new uh, armored cable here to lease. Um, I think we're only down to like one kilometer long spools on those, but, but we can talk about that. We have options. And, uh, and we saw some great presentations today on other cable um, solutions that are out there for more complex deployments. So there's even, more options uh, if, if we need to go there. So let's look at the next slide. All right, and accessories. Um, we can lease you a uh, fiber optic cable splicer, uh, which might be really important depending on how remote you are. Um, and uh, it's like John mentioned, pulling on the garden hose uh, thing and the kinks and that sort of thing. Um, but we do ask that you take uh, one of our um, AGU courses in person. So if we could do AGU courses in person, we could provide some training on one of these splicers and then we'd feel more comfortable sending one to you to lease. Um, if you are not able to do that, then we encourage people to come to Reno. We can train you here or we can come to you to train you or you can go without the splicer. And if you're close enough to Reno, we could fly fly there in an emergency and splice it. Uh, so I did that uh, in this case right here. A beaver wandered down here and chewed through this fiber optic. This was in Las Vegas. So I think my plane ticket was only about $300 and I jumped on the plane next day, got down there, spliced it up, came home. So that worked out for them. Um, other accessible- so, uh, Get local telecom sometime to come in. So if you're near a city, you can find a vendor and that's kind of similar, could be up to a couple hundred dollars to splice your cable. Yeah, if, if, uh, if this situation was further away, then the um, a service, a commercial service might have been the uh, better way to go, but I actually kind of enjoyed doing that. Um, so splice boxes will uh, sell you these. If we provide cable, we'll usually 
charge you $65 for one of these. That's, that's what the splices get snapped into. Typical deployments usually have um, two of these, one on the end of the cable. So this stuff, this splicing stuff is also referred to as cable terminations. You hear that terminating cable. So if the cable is just cut on one end, um, there's, there are multiple fibers in the cable and oftentimes we'll splice two of them together. And that has to do with calibration and duplexed measurements and that kind of thing. But then also what you'll need to do and what we oftentimes do before you, we send you uh, equipment is we'll do the terminations here in our lab. And so here's the fiber optic, but, or here's the cable, but within there, there's multiple fibers. So we open that up, we splay them out, and then we'll splice on the E2000 cable connectors that will then plug into your DTS instrument. John Selker talked about the E2000s before. And uh, here's an example of a calibration bath that someone made themselves. And you can see how they have the cable nicely nested in there up off the bottom of the cable and not touching the sides. And so water can cir circulate evenly around this. But again, we also provide baths. Um, here we have independent temperature, high resolution temperature sensors. Um, in, this, in this case, or loggers, sorry, sensors and loggers, they're logging. And in this case, it's taped right to a reference section of cable. If you can't put a calibration bath down there in the lake and seal it off, there's, there's other options. These things are great um, for validation data and also some calibration solutions where um, logistics may be challenging to get the whole uh, bath set up. And then lastly, uh, here is an example of some of our, our accessories. We have a heated uh, fiber optic uh, power pulse um, right there that's available from OSU. All right. And so, and then just here's some of our rates uh, on things, you know, $50 a day on the splicer. Um, but we, we can talk, we can talk about all these things. The goal is to um, make you have great research or help you to have great research and help you to be successful and not uh, for our instruments to collect dust. So we do, oh, well, let me just mention one more thing on that note. We do have um, CTEMPS pilot program um, sponsorships or um, uh, scholarships. And that's, a, that's not the best word. Um, sponsorships for instrument leases. So where you don't have to pay um, if you're a new researcher, um, something like that, special project, case by case, case by case, you can apply for those on your website um, if your budget is super lean. And with that, uh, we can take any questions.